to UC Star Astralis. I'm your life coach astrologer, Cindy. Today, I am talking to you guys about the Leo constellation within you. So don't click off saying that I am not a Leo. <laughs> I'm neither sun, moon, or ascendant. It doesn't matter. You have Leo within you, okay? And I am going to give you some major life hack information with this video. And I also plan to do a meditational video because on the 8th of August, we have the Lionsgate portal opening to receive light codes, okay? And um, yeah, so I'm doing this for all the constellations, one constellation at a time. And I may do that because I didn't do it. I started doing it for um, Cancer and Capricorn. And I want to do it already for uh, Gemini <laughs> because I happen to be a Gemini. And I really need to do it for Gemini. Okay, so um, let's go into this. Leos. Okay, so Leo what is the meaning of Leo? Okay, Leo is a very proud leader, leader like a lion, okay? And Sun is the Lord and the ruler of the constellation Leo. Leo's also the ruler of the fifth house. But first, let's go into what Leo is all about. Key words here, I'll just read it so that I don't have to be like, uh, trying to think. Pride, passion, courage, creativity, impulse, majestic, sovereignty, rulership, children, and sex. Okay, so this is your, your the playfulness. Okay, so um, now I am going to share that um, for some people, if you happen to have your sun in here, um, it is easier to find that flame within you. Um, Leo is a fire sign, as well as Aries and Sagittarius. But Aries is that, you know, the uh, spark. Leo is the flame. <laughs> and Sagittarius is the heat. Okay, so uh, with this energy, that, that flame, that creativity, if you understand, um, if you start to understand how important the Leo constellation is to creating and manifesting your dreams, your wild dreams, your wildest dreams, and that means that you know, you can have such a major shift if just by listening and understanding this video is already activating partly your DNA. It's awakening. It's like saying, you know, like, hello, you exist. But then the meditation, which I plan to do and post for free <laughs> on this YouTube channel before I was charging for such things, but now I'm doing it for free because I'm trying to catapult my my evolution. I'm a little bit like, let's, you know, let's, this is my year. Let's get, <laughs> I find this year for my life very important and I want to activate and I already see major shifts happening just because I posted my a meditational video for Cancer and Capricorn and some other ones, but but uh, Capricorn has to do with the career, and Cap and Cancer has to do with your with your family and your emotions. So, and Capricorn also has to do with your career out in the world, and much much more. You want to check out those videos if you haven't already. Okay, so let's jump back into Leo. <laughs> okay, so um. So those who just happen to have sun in Leo, they tend to, because sun is a fiery energy, they tend to find their flame within them much faster. You can already tell when they're a child, you know, they 
they they're that they have that boss quality within them and they tend to boss other people around <laughs> They have a lot of pride or they walk with pride and and they walk like they're a, a little bit majestic and sovereign. Some people may have a little bit a harder time finding that Leo within them because the sun also represents your father and boss and authoritative figures. And if you just happen to have like where your father wasn't in your life, say for instance, you have the south node or some kind of planets aspecting you that when you were born, it shows that, you know, you're being pulled away from being around your father. So these people will have a harder time to find the lion within them. But when they do, you know, it's like <laughs> they, they will really master it, but they really had to, in this lifetime, strive towards that Leo within them. So now I'm going to share with you the um, the meanings of, okay, because Leo is also the Lord of the fifth house. So now I'm going to share with you what the fifth house is all about. It is your creative self-expression, such as drama, entertainment, singing, wanting your, you know, attention. And if you happen to have Uranus in here, that's that, that, um, like e ego eccentric person who has to get a lot of attention in some strange <laughs> eccentric way. Okay. Um, so you have, um, uh, also this is, where you want to, it, I'm able to see, depending on where Leo is or what's in your fifth house, how you express your romantic side, what planets are sitting in here that shows me, you know, do you, are you shy about dating? Uh, do you, do you hold back or, or are you a ladies man or <laughs> are you ready having a little boyfriend or a girlfriend already in kindergarten, <laughs> I'm, able, I'm able to see that, you know. There are some kids who who are already dating at a very young age and already talking about marrying their little childhood friend. And some who are thinking like, ew, yeah, ew, cooties, no way. <laughs> and it takes them longer to mature in regards to the idea of love. Okay, and that can all be seen from where your Leo placement is or your fifth house. And it also has to do with speculative business. And a lot of Leos like to create their own business. But everyone has the ability to create their own business. And I'm able to see like, oh, you have the ability to create your business in health or in um, healing, you know, being a doctor or an astrologer, I can see that based on your Leo. Where is your Leo? And my Leo happens to be in my eighth house. Um, so <laughs> I have like different things. I'm a, um, also ascendant, um, Scorpio, but mostly Sagittarius. But then I came to Austria and now I'm Pisces Ascendant as well. So, yeah. Anyway, back to Leo. So, depending on where that uh, Leo is, I'm able to see where you can create a, your own business. Okay, go into speculative business. Um, it also is that risk-taking energy because you have to be very courageous like a lion to to take risk. So that energy of gambling is also here. And um, it is, you know, depending, like you say, the North Node is here, I can tell whether a person is obsessed about gambling or obsessed about buying lotto um, cards. And not just lotto cards, but 
you know, like $500 worth of lotto cards, I can tell whether someone's really obsessed <laughs> with gambling or not. <laughs> um, it, uh, I'm able to see your, like I said, your attitude towards romance and romantic partners, whether, whether, uh, in the fifth house, you're seeing them as life partners, possibly, or whether you just see them as lovers. This is the playful uh, house, the playful constellation. So I'm able to see, you know, are you like a Casanova? <laughs> are you um, um, just... Um, yeah, the, this energy of, you know, hopping bed to bed. I'm able to see that whether you're a player or not. Okay. Now, um, so this is the energy of having fun, you know, being creative, being an entertainer, um, being a superstar, a rock star, a movie star. And how a person comes to this has a lot to do with how much dharma, how much good energy is stored in your Leo within you. Now, I teach here that our junk DNA is actually inactive and it it has the ability to be activated. And on my channel, I help you to balance out to transmute the dense energy within yourself to release, let go, heal, forgive, and to make room in your cells, which contain the DNA, which happens to be connected to all the constellations. At the moment, we now have 13 constellations. We used to just have 12, but because we are entering another part of the universe, the sky is opening up in the ninth house, but inside the, um, like between Sagittarius and Scorpio, there's, the sky is opening up. Another constellation is emerging. That's that energy, which is higher in vibration. We're, we are entering a zone in the universe where the neut neutrinos and well, I would have to say all the subatomic particles are moving, vibrating faster, okay? So it is creating the sun to be more active. Now, we're already going through the 25 cycle, 25-year um, uh, cycle of the sun, but we are now entering that other, like the big cycle, the one that the Mayan calendar and the Aztec calendar are talking about and other ancient calendars are talking about. And so the sun then goes through another, has another cycle. It's like the the, the boom of the boom, kind of boom, boom, <laughs> which has to do with our evolutional shift within us. And so I am preparing everyone here to release any kind of dense energy that has to do with Leo in this video. Okay, so like I said, I think I mentioned that I am doing a meditational video that has to do with the Lionsgate portal and to heal your Leo within you and to release dense energy within you so that you can receive the light codes of the Lionsgate portal. And, and the Leo energy has to do with creating your dreams. It is 180 degrees away from the Aquarius constellation that has to do with manifesting your hopes, dreams, and wishes. But the Leo energy also has that, you know, energy of creative, that light force, that energy force, the G energy force of the sun. And so this is that portal where you can really create your dreams to come true here. And so that's what why I'm doing this for free because as within, so without, if I am helping you to pump up your energy within, your that is coming back to me. And I really <laughs> I really see the difference about pumping up other people's 
um, energy within Cancer and Capricorn. I think I mentioned that already. <laughs> um, yes, regarding their career and their fame out in the world and their house and their home and their family. And I am seeing doors open up in my life just because people are doing the meditation and I'm being blessed. And so I'm really wanting to catapult myself this year in my evolution. So yeah, <laughs> you go and do that meditation and, and just keep doing it over and over and you will see like a difference in your life. And hugs and kisses to you guys who are watching that video because I am being blessed because you are being blessed. <laughs> okay, so um, now the things that I plan to help you release and heal is your child within your connection to your father. If you have like a, um, a lot of dense energy uh, between you and your father, I plan to heal that. I am making notes so to make sure that I am sticking to my promise. So you um, and your child within, we are going to work with your childhood. I also plan to help you in regards to your, your, your sexual, um, attitude <laughs> your your how you um your how you um look at at um sex and romantic partners okay we want to heal and clear that up because if you are holding lots of you know dense energy to partners that you um dated in the past we need to heal that. We need to release that energy. Cut the cords. Cut the cords. I'm going to write that too. Cut the cords with those who you had a sexual inner sexual exchange, energetic exchange with, because that you are connected to their karma, to their energetic body. You are melding your energetic body with theirs. And so we want to cut the cords in this meditational video that I plan to do um, so that your, your flame is stronger within you to create, to create your heaven on earth and to help us create a better world for, for all. <laughs> okay, so, um, so when you are healing this, then you are able to have a, a better um, passionate or express yourself more passionately. They're removing um, blockages, so passionate blockages, um, especially those who had really bad uh, experiences. Like there are some people who had date rape or just some people who, who dated um, frogs, <laughs> kissed frogs, and had their heart broken. We want to clear all of these blocks, blockages, emotional blockages. And either you were, I mean, we're going to clear it in the um, emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual. And the mental, we want to, we want to heal, like such as your entertainment, whether you are entertaining porno, because um, when you are entertaining porno in your brain, then your attitude, your attitude towards women may not be very healthy or your attitude towards men may not be very healthy. It, and a lot of people who are hooked to porno, everyone's, everyone's human, you know, and they all may have at, at, the end of the day, they want to feel loved, but may have a harder time uh, connecting to that energy of love because they have had so many different partners that that um, they just can't feel that love. It just like the the heat. They feel the sexual heat, and they're just like crying inside. Like let. You, May you be the person that I finally feel that love connection with, you know, but then you cannot find it if, you know, if you spread that your flame energy too far and wide, then you're depleting that energy within you to feel the love and to feel the passion, to feel that 
soul connection, okay? So we want to heal that. We want to bring the energy back into your soul, into, into your mental, spiritual, physical, and emotional body. We want to restore, restore your Leo and restore that love within you, okay? And by doing this, you're also, by healing your Leo within, you're also helping to where the doors open up for you to either um, um, win the lotto or, or win abundance or, or to win your dream partner um, to, you know, the to have your own speculative business, the doors start to open up. And as I always share with everyone, a bad rotten apple in a bag, I mean, imagine the fifth house or the constellation Leo as a big bag of apples. <laughs> and if you have one thing issue that has to do with what I just now shared, there are all these issues. Okay, and just say for instance, um, you had um, date rape. Okay, just like, and this energy will will rot the other apples, will rot the creative force within you of wanting to have babies or because you really don't want to, you know, do it. And you may have a hard time getting pregnant or not wanting children or that child within you has been destroyed and you want to heal that so that your creative force comes, so your flame comes out, so that you can be a Leo, a go-getter to, to manifest that sovereignty within you. And, and so some Leos go through a lot of difficulties, but everyone has the Leo within them that they need to heal. So once you heal that within you, you're able to, doors just open up. It's like all of a sudden someone's emailing you or someone's saying, I want to, um, I want to interview you or just some streak of luck <laughs> starts happening, coming your way. And so that's what we want to do. That's what I want to do for you. And as you are healing and meditating with me in that meditational video that I plan to put out very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that. When you do this video, I am being blessed back. Okay, so that's my motivation for doing it for free. And yeah, hugs and kisses to all of you guys. I hope you understand what this is all about. And I really hope that you watch my Leo Meditational Lionsgate video. Okay. Bye, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sharing is caring. Bye.